Good morning. Today I have a story that's a little different from the other stories I've been reading. It's actually a Chinese folk story. And the name of it is called Noodle Magic. It's a big ball of noodles. <laughs> The emperor's birthday was coming and excitement filled the air. Every day, May watched Grandpa too make magic with his hands and a bit of, little, of dough. She loved the powdery flakes that hung in the air and freckled the morning light. Every evening, Grandpa slapped the dough on the table, kneaded it with his hands, and stretched it into coils. Everyone oohed and awed over Grandpa Two's noodles, even the moon goddess who brightened the night sky. Can you make a jump rope from noodles, asked May. Simple as sunflower seeds, said Grandpa. How about a string for our kites, asked a neighbor. As easy as a breeze, said Grandpa. Late that night, as the moon goddess lit up the sky, May heard slap, knead, stretch. The next morning, May and her friends played and jumped with strands of white, weedy dough. If only I had your gift, May sighed. I think you just might, said Grandpa. But May knew that no one could spin like magic like Grandpa, too. One afternoon, May watched the sky fill with fluffy pink creatures. Can you catch clouds with noodles, she asked. Fast as a flying fish, said Grandpa. That night, as moonlight flooded the room, May watched Grandpa slap, knead, and stretch. The next morning, they gathered streams of fluffy pink clouds just as the sun was rising. Your magic's the best, said May. But it's time for you to learn, Grandpa said. And there's the clouds. And there's May and her grandpa. <laughs> On the day before the Emperor's birthday, everyone was making something special. Everyone except Grandpa, too. The villagers were puzzled. Noodles were needed on every table, especially long life noodles for the emperor. This year it's your turn to make noodle magic, Grandpa told May. May was terrified. She measured carefully and together they slapped, kneaded and stretched. The rest is up to you, Grandpa said, but as hard as she tried, May's noodles were as ordinary as a pot of white rice. She had to think of something quick. Can you give me magic, she asked Grandpa. Grandpa stroked his beard. Trust yourself, May, he said. May doubted Grandpa. She had never made noodle magic before. The moon shone brightly into the workroom as May thought hard. Can noodles reach the moon, she asked. That's a wishful, as wishful as the wind, Grandpa laughed. Whatever for? A gift for the moon goddess, said May. I could ask her for magic in return. You have all the magic you need, said Grandpa too. That 
night as Grandpa slept, May tried to slap and knead. Just before sunrise, Grandpa returned. My hands are tired, said May. My arms aren't strong enough. Can you help? Grandpa not nodded. Hiya, Aya, Fay. Hey, uh, watch a fay. Together they stretched and pulled until her doe reached the forest's edge. May spun the dough into a huge ball of noodles and tossed it skyward. Faster and faster it spiraled into space. As it got close to the moon, she watched it shrink to the size of a wheel, then a pumpkin, and finally a tiny dot. May called out to the moon goddess, the village needs noodles for the emperor's birthday. I need some of your magic. The moon goddess was delighted with the gift, though she knew May had to do this job herself. Thank you, May, she said, but remember, magic must come from within. May took a deep breath. She had to think of something. She closed her eyes tight and remembered all that Grandpa, too, had shown her. With a tug of war twang, May yanked her end of the noodles. They stretched back and forth, up and down, until finally there was a snap. <sighs> the sky rained noodles, small bow ties and pillows, large coils and springs. It was a meteor shower of dough. There was enough for everyone's celebration, including a magical long life strand for the emperor. May's noodles had turned to magic. It was inside her all along. From that day on, the only sounds in May's workshop were slap, knead, stretch, and whoa. <laughs> and that was the end. <laughs> that was a different story. I hope you liked it. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I love you.